Hi guys, my name's Fakie and I'm going to in the next few minutes uh, go through some of my art processes with you that involve accident making. Uh, there, there's a perception that uh, not everybody can do art and that art is difficult and actually the opposite is true. Everyone can do art and it isn't difficult at all. In fact, the more accidents you make, the better the art and all of the art that I specialise in focuses basically on, I guess, the realm of accident making. Through some of the processes that I'm going to show you, um, there's very positive uh, therapy outcomes uh, in the form of um, mindfulness. Uh, it, it, if, you, if you've got a bad mood and you do art, uh, you get happy, which is a thing. Yeah, the, the benefits of doing art are massive. Like if, if, if you're really stressed out and then you go for a run, you come back and you feel better. Um, if, you, if you're really stressed out and you go and draw or paint, you also feel better in a very similar way. Uh, your heart rate comes down, your breathing gets better, your thinking gets more organized. Accidents um, give you the ability to just let go and relinquish control so you're just floating basically through this process and uh, that's that's part of the beauty of it. Art can likewise be any medium and today we're particularly going to use uh, acrylic paint which is really bright and vibrant and black ink because it's just very black and very wet and I find that sort of thing fun. The messier the medium the better for me. So. Here we go. Sticking paper to the wall as a show and tell, that's all. So first of all, we're just gonna uh, smash a bunch of acrylics onto the uh, the paper here. Here we go, we'll uh, put on some of this, I really like this blue, so I've just chosen a bunch of colors at random, okay? So, a bit of blue, a little bit of this uh, crazy pink. Okay. There's no rule to how we're putting this stuff on. We're just putting it on. My power color is red, so my go-to. I always always need to have some some strong red in there. So, right, so I want a big swag of a red on there, like that. I might just put a bit of white in there as well, just to soften that. So, here it is. Okay. I'll put a bit of green in one corner, just for the hell of it. There we are. Good. All right. Then I take a plastic card, in this case an old driver's license, and uh, let's see how this goes. So, I just bring the card down like this. It's just making these crazy, crazy color patterns. Like that. See that? Oh yeah, come on. You see this? Uh -huh. You get a bit of excess paint on there, just put that aside, maybe we'll use that later. Here we go. Oh yeah. Okay. You can now see look at these crazy sweeps of colour. So that's our accident number one. We're basically gonna do three accidents in one in this picture, okay? So, we're now going to get our Brian Geisen inspired roller. Just a black ink. Put it in a, a paint tray or, or whatever. So of course you don't have to have a roller like this, you can just be making an accident in any way you want. Got the roller in the tray, get it nice and inky. Might actually a bit more inky, it's not gonna go astray in this particular experiment. Good. Okay. We're gonna run the black ink across the image like that. Image 
with all these like wet grid lines across here like this, see this? Okay, so we're just gonna let that dry uh, and then we're gonna come back and attack it again. Okay. Cool. Cool. What we're basically doing with this is uh, creating a bunch of marks which we as artists can then react to. You know, looking at this, I'm really thinking I meant to put some yellow in there and I didn't and I wanna, I just think it wants some yellow. So I'm just gonna stick it over the top. thinking you haven't actually got the colors you want or you haven't got enough or something we bring it in later so it doesn't matter check that out trying to get it so you can sort of see what's going on there so we're getting all this random color mess going on very relaxing closer look at what we're doing here we're just sort of tracing these marks or ignoring them as well so we're seeing little little crisscross things here and then we just sort of if we feel like boxing them up we do if we feel like leaving them we do there's no rules we're just getting that ink and we're just going for a walk just going for a walk Tranquility. Tranquility. Right, we're connecting things up we're joining things we're just basically losing ourselves in the process there we go Tranquility. it's cool Cool. And you, you could be doing this for hours, you know, just fine lines, thin brush, black ink, going for a walk, no rules. bring some other colors in and here we've got a sort of a, a dark blue and some white mixed together so it's a sort of a paler blue and we just get that nice thin brush again and we're just gonna start because it's it's getting a bit dark we want to bring some lighter colors into it so we're gonna do the same thing we do with the black and we're just linking up sections that we've seen with the light colors now just to make that sort of background pop back out again and sort of Get the groove happening, sort of make the whole thing electric if you like. There's no rules again. And let's just use a little bit of white and like pale yellow just to just to lighten that a little bit more. And uh, we're going to have the craziest uh, looking abstract painting you've ever seen with like heaps of detail and uh, movement and texture. And it took hours and it felt good. Final step of accident number three. Uh, bringing back a bit of the black highlights so just going around the picture and finding some bits where the black has started to disappear into the background and bring it back a little bit as well so now you've got this like three-dimensional image of like all these layers going back and back and back and um, there you are